Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something slightly different. Um, I felt called to work with these cards which are Odin and the Nine Realms Oracle. Um, so we work with runes anyway and a bit of tarot. But we're also going to be working with these cards too. So I'm going to pick one of these cards first of all just to see where your current energy is right now. So if you are taking some time out of your day to watch this video, um, you may like to like and subscribe to this video as well or this channel if you haven't already then I would be so appreciative if you did um, and if you enjoy my videos thank you so much for watching them so let's see where your current energy is and what this is talking about so even though some of these cards do have runes on them I am going to pick some runes out of the bag as well just to see if they correlate to where we're at and what we're doing mm. Nidvalir. So we have, this is about the dwarves. So this is the realm of the dwarves on here. Um, so this is kind of like where, after the giants have dismembered you, dismembered you rather, this is where you are kind of put back together, where things are forged in the golden hall. So I'm going to read through the book for you because it gives you a little bit more information um, on there. There we go. Yeah, so the dwarves in the Golden Hall. So, have a look at that for a moment. You have entered Nedvalir, the mysterious land of the dwarves. Dwarves are said to live in great halls underground. They're master craftsmen with precious metals and halls made of gold. The dwarves make the swords and tools for the gods. They were the craftsmen who forged Thor's hammer, the Mollinger. Drawing this card brings a message that your hard work will be rewarded. You've done your part. You made the grade with integrity and industry. This is a job well done. The dwarves never sit idle, but work morning till night, creating a place of beauty. It is time for you to receive the benefits of all your efforts. You might receive an unexpected gift. Be grateful for the good fortune that Ned Valier brings. So, that is the realm of the dwarves. So, I'm going to pick a rune to go with that. So, this could be about things that you have been working on. This does actually remind me um, of the Eight of Pentacles quite a lot. So, it'd be very interesting if the Eight of Pentacles come out. So this is where you have been working perhaps on your craft um, or just something in general in your life. You've been working hard on it and you are going to be rewarded for that, whether that is through the divine spirit that's going to reward you uh, or people are going to reward you for this. And we have T-Was. So this is about commitment. This is commitment to yourself, commitment to your path. It's also ideas and things that you are channeling through from your highest self so you've been having some intuitive um, advancements here so perhaps you have been gaining knowledge um, working on things that are in line with this for some of you this might actually be to do with legal matters as well so where there may have been um, something that where justice is needed so perhaps you've been working hard on a case or something that um, is a bit of a legal battle and you are receiving justice for this. You have worked so hard, you have grafted, there's blood, sweat and tears that have gone into this and you are about to reap the rewards for that. So that's our first room that comes out on her. And Wunyo. So this is ecstatic joy. You are going to feel so joyful for the efforts that you've put in, the work that you've put in, and what you are going to achieve from that. Okay, so this could be, it doesn't have to be something mega. It doesn't have to be like a, a major new um, job or career path. It doesn't have to be really anything to do with the relationship even or anything. It could just be something quite small that you've achieved in your life. Maybe you've just like tidied and cleaned your house recently and you're feeling really good about that and it's given you maybe an inspired thought. Um, maybe it's made you feel really good about yourself and that you are winning. You're on top of things and it is bringing in this ecstatic joy. It's bringing in harmony and balance as well. So this is almost like the universe's way of saying like you have being consistent and through you being consistent you have now forged the right tools for you to move forward with so we're going to bring you joy we're going to bring you harmony based around that so let's have a little look what else we have here okay 
I was. This is the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. I'm going to move this bag because it's all going to fall out because the bag has just literally come flying open. <laughs> so I was is, it's a time for peacefulness. So as much as one year is quite ecstatic, it's quite up, uplifting, there's balance here because it's almost like you've got on one side like ecstatic joy and then on the other side you've got this sort of like right well we're putting an end to this and we're bringing a new beginning to this and there's an element here of like I was can sometimes represent the backbone so it's connected to the spine and the reason is is because the yew tree which is represented by I was it's poisonous and the poison attacks your central nervous system and if you look at I was, it looks a little bit like a spine, although you'd be in a little bit of trouble if your spine was that straight, <laughs> which is more of an S shape, isn't it? But it's kind of like creates that shape of your spine. You have, you have really created a backbone here. You take no shit anymore. And you have gone to a place of even through resistance even through people not believing in you even through all of that stuff you have stayed committed to your purpose to your path to yourself and you have been guided and following your intuitive downloads to move forward on that path and this is bringing you into a place now of this harmony and joy so if you aren't already in that place Maybe you're watching this video because you're feeling a little bit disheartened. Maybe you've put all this work in and you're feeling like nothing. I don't see anything happening. I don't see anything changing. You are about to turn a corner and it is a new chapter. It is a new beginning and it's coming. It is on the way. Trust it. You've been asking for this divine guidance, for this divine help, and it's on its way. It is there. So let's pick some tarot to go with this. What information do we have on here? what is this that you are crafting right now go on then <laughs> okay so we have the ten of wands so there's been a lot of struggle with this there has been a burden that you've been carrying it's been a heavy load but despite all of that you have still carried on you have still carried on moving through it and I do feel for many of you, I can see there's like three people that have not been in your corner over this. Three people that have been perhaps a little bit against you, against the way forward that you're going. But despite that, you carried on, you moving forward. For some of you, I feel like you may have just recently left something as well. We've got like the Ten of Swords. It's like you have been deceived. Something has deceived you. Um, has caused some problems in your life I feel but you've seen that now I feel like you've had the truth you've seen what's been going on <clears throat> and this may have been something that was going on behind your back it may be something that you've recently just found out about but you are taking the right path you are moving in the right direction moving away from that stress and worry and you are moving into a time of courage and bravery there's a lot here that you have been through battling, battling yourself, but also battling other people who have been going against your intuition, going against what you know yourself is the right direction for you. And it's a blessing and a curse because it's a blessing because it's actually sent you through a healing journey, okay? It's sent you into a place of healing, healing within yourself. You've, you've taken the opportunity to look within yourself, like, what can I change here? What can I do here for me? And that's the best course of action. Because there's always going to be people that are going to hurt you. There's always going to be people that are going to upset you um, or not, not have your best interests at heart. There's going to be people that are going to let you down at a time when you really needed some help when you really needed some support okay and the reason people do that is we don't know it could be something based around themselves it could be down to a misunderstanding for some of you I feel like oh, put the ten of swords away didn't I there it is for some of you I feel like it could be that they you know you've had bad advice of people 
and misunderstandings and that has created something to happen in your life ah yeah and it's something like there's been some what you would have thought is wise counsel but maybe you've been ignoring some wise counsel maybe you have decided the wise counsel is in me not external to me because when you think about it People have their agenda, they have their reason for why they want you to do something or why they are putting their cause to you. And often we don't think to ask ourselves the question, is this right for me? Does this feel good for me? We take this trusted source of information instead and go with that. Or is it trusted? Or is it just it reinforced a belief that you already had, so you went with it? rather than asking for guidance within yourself. I don't know who that's for, but I'm picking something up around that. And this is about you kind of going to the golden hall and, you know, releasing all of these fears, these things, and forging something, a tool that you know will help you to move forward in the way that is best for you, not what is best for everybody else. And people are going to go against your wishes they are going to go against your wishes but we have the page of pentacles here now i love the page of pentacles because this is sort of like just new opportunities new ideas things that are starting this is like the mini empress it's sort of you know you have this love um a new beginning an opportunity for what it is that you want to achieve and you may have been held back before by the people around you because maybe they didn't really understand what it was that you were trying to achieve but the path that you've chosen you know forget all the burden you're letting go of that you've got the strength to move forward now you can see that there is some reward here. There is a gift on its way to you. And this is speaking volumes about that. This is your new beginning. This is you, all of that work that you've done on yourself and for your cause. It's all manifesting now into this new beginning. Okay. You've done the root work. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing something about rollers, rollerblades on here. So I don't know if that's relevant to you. Maybe you like rollerblades. Maybe you used to go rollerblading or you know those roller discos. Perhaps you still do. <laughs> um, but there's something about rollerblading um, about this. But also a need to be in nature. So I feel for some of you this is about going, expressing what you need and going out there and getting it. And it's outdoors. It's out in nature. Maybe for you, being outside and talking to yourself out of there, it kind of brings you back to a piece of yourself, a part of yourself that is very much needed. Oh, we've just got the four of wands on there as well, so that's like celebration. Um, you know, that again is joy and, and happiness, just having something to celebrate. What do we have? I nearly fell off the chair again then, didn't I? nine of pentacles so you are standing in your power right now you are looking very bright you are looking like a shining star at this time and you've done all this for yourself by yourself um that bird on the top there as well is like you have been intuitively guided to this place where you are right now but you are through your own diligence through your own um want to be self-assured you you know you are reaching that even if you feel like at the moment like well yeah but I'm not I'm not rolling in it I'm not I haven't got loads of money I haven't um maybe you haven't got your house together or the place where you want to live or you know maybe the plan isn't completely completed yet but actually how you are being perceived right now by people around you is that actually you are manifesting these things you are bringing things into your reality and you're looking good right now you are looking good right now you've achieved a level of discipline 
I feel like you're eating well. I feel like you're exercising. You are, you know, you're looking good and you're feeling good. You really feel like you've done a lot for yourself. I can see somebody that's perhaps been foraging as well, maybe collecting herbs and hanging herbs and things. There's nourishment there. There is looking after yourself in a holistic sense, maybe using um, herbal medicines as well. Maybe you having herbal teas. Um, maybe you've been working with Ayurveda recently. So let's see what the outcome of this is for you, because it's looking, you have honestly put so much effort into yourself and you are about to step into a new beginning. You know, it's been, don't think it's going to go unnoticed because it's not. We've got the Queen of Wands just like kept flying into my hand there. This is power, passion. Um, you've reached a level here of being in your power and it's through all of this hard work what you've worked through on here is really showing up um showing what you're made of that fire within you you know your solar plexus your personal power your confidence it's all in there um keep working on your passion keep working on it you took a chance and this is what you've achieved I do feel for some of you, this is about a journey of healing um, in a spiritual sense. You've gone on a spiritual journey. You've gone through perhaps um, some shamanic healings or um, Reiki. You found a passion, you found a power within yourself and you are now driving that forwards, moving it forwards into this new beginning. So let's have a look more onto this page of pentacles. What is this new beginning? going to bring in this viewer so what is this new beginning we're in a new moon right now as well so it would be a good time to you know really state a sentence a sankalpa a resolution that you want to achieve at this time in your life what would that be how would it look Ooh, okay oh okay then so there's a little bit on here. We've got the Three of Cups and the Five of Wands. I do feel like there is a want for collaboration or friendship, um, or working with somebody on this, or maybe a group of people. You've struggled quite a bit. You've done all of this by yourself, I feel. You haven't really done this with anybody else. This has been by yourself that you've been working through this, but now you want to bring something together. You want a close knit, almost like, you know, your own coven or your own, you know, friendship group. It's about being part of something with somebody else. And it's taken you a lot to move through where you are. But now you just need that extra hand to help pull you through. So I do feel for some of you, what you are crafting here, what you are bringing in, you actually now need to meet up with other people for that extra support to bring it in. I can see somebody with a tattoo here as well that maybe is important to you. Um, this could be a relationship, it could be a lover or it could just be a friend kind of thing. So let's have a look. What is the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups doing here? Why the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups? See, I see you've moved through struggle, but instead of the Five of Wands being about struggle this time, it's more about you actually reaching up to that passion. You are, you've, you've managed to find your way through, and now you're asking for a helping hand. Now you want some help to go that a little bit further. I've got the Nine of Cups on the bottom there as well. So this is like it's something that you're desiring. So why the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups? And again, it's back there again. Oh, okay. We have the world. So this is, this for some of you, it could be about going traveling with people. So there could be um, an idea that you have to go traveling with somebody or a group of people, potentially. You have an idea and this actually could be part of the gift that you are receiving is you know part of what you've achieved here may be taking you somewhere um in terms of travel 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 <laughs> travel 
But there is a need for completion here, or not need, there is a completion here, joy. And, you know, you have reached a great level of achievement. This flew out of the pack. So the five of wands there and the three of cups is almost like this, there's been a, it's bringing you closer to some people in your life. Now, it's funny because I said about three people before, didn't I? And it almost feels like what you've come through has gone full circle with those people. They are seeing you now in a different light. They're seeing you, you know, you've, you've made it. You went against the odds and you've achieved it. You're happy or you're about to be happy if you don't feel happy at the moment. And those three people are going to see that and they're actually going to turn back and be sort of like, well, we want a piece of that. There's something about when you're not quite in a good place and maybe somebody's turned their back on you or they've told you like, oh, you're crazy or you're nuts or whatever, or you, you just, you know, you're never going to achieve that. They've turned their back on you. When they start to see actually, you know, you're accelerating, you're doing good and you are finding your way in, you're looking great. Suddenly those people want to come back into your life. Suddenly those people want a bit of the action or like, you know, well, how did you achieve that? And, you know, you, you actually, you know, I see you now. I see your value. I see your worth now because you've gone and done something that they could never have done themselves. And they want to know what the magic spell is. They want to know, how did you manage to do that? Trust me, people do. They, they sort of just, yeah. They weren't there for you when you were struggling. But then when they see that you've managed to pull yourself out of it and you've managed to achieve these things, all of a sudden then they want to come back. They want to be in your life. And you have to discern whether that's right for you or not. Because if you're in this space where you've done all this work for yourself, you know, you've got yourself to this place with no help because nobody was there to help you. And... You know, this is your pentacles. This is your discipline, your way forward. Now, that doesn't mean you've got to be lonely for the rest of your life because you're afraid to let anybody in. But it does mean that these people have to show you what worth they bring for you, okay? If you've changed, if you've grown, if you've managed to manifest this lifestyle for yourself that is bringing ecstatic joy, commitment to your path, um and this complete new beginning, they have to show you what do they bring to the table then. And that doesn't mean, you know, you don't have to say to people sort of like, you know, well, if you, you haven't got enough money or you haven't got this or you haven't got that, it's not about that. It's about in here. What worth do you bring within yourself? You know, can you tell me why you weren't there when I was struggling and why now all of a sudden you want to be there when I'm not struggling? Okay, so just be aware of, of the dynamics of people and how they change around you based on how you appear because everybody likes something that's shite shite <laughs> sorry everybody likes something that's shiny and bright yeah shiny and bright together makes the word shite doesn't it that's not great um makes it shiny and bright but if they weren't there for you when you weren't glowing so bright when you were on the floor and you needed some help you might need to think about that. Oh, aha. Speaking of shiny and bright, we have the six of wands. Now, the six of wands is all about being in that limelight. This is about somebody that is really in the spotlight right now, is really being seen. Oh, I love this card. I absolutely love it. So with the six of wands, you should have a lot of pride in yourself right now. And pride for the best reasons I'm talking pride in all the best sense because you have worked so hard to achieve this to get where you are and you are being seen now you have been put on notice for some of you I feel like it could be maybe you're a creator like a YouTube creator or something like that but you are flying right now you are going places and I do feel for some of you that is going to include travel and collaboration with people that can help you um, to really drive this forward so I'm going to leave this reading here if you would like to go deeper within this reading then please do get in touch and we can do a personal reading for you 
and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again very soon. Have a blessed day.